guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Charles and Raphael. Hey. This, the, <laughs> this is my dad, Steven C. Raphael, the OMAD man. You guys should go check out his channel, link in the description. He's motiv motivational speaker for weight loss, and he's funny, very inspirational. And also go check out my friend Whitney's channel down there, and it'll be in the description also. So today's video is going to be an interview with my dad. So, the old bad band, so make sure you guys go check out the show. Um, so I have a couple of questions for you today. Okay, first off, I'd like to say I really don't know what to do if I don't have a piano to... So, that, all right. Okay. You're getting me in rare form. Go ahead. Okay, um, so, I got all the questions right here. Okay, go ahead. What made you want to play piano? Um, I come from a musical family, and, uh... The only way to get attention in our family was to play a musical instrument. And think about certain instruments and music. Music kind of chooses you. And how long do you want the answer? Because I'll go on all day. Um, basically, uh, um, my uncle would sit there and play piano in any song anybody asked. Um, people would call up and he'd play him. He's my great uncle. And... Um, all right, that's good. Okay. And I like the part you said to get attention because yeah, it always has to be in the center of attention, don't you? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, go. Why do you keep saying you oh, hate so being I'm... bald? Okay. <laughs> yeah, why do you keep saying that you hate being bald? Oh, because that's the only reason I do this. And I feel my shows like this. I what's going on? Because I just, I used to have hair. It was fake hair. But I thought nobody noticed, but they probably all did. But why do you keep saying it because i'd hate people is it, is it and an, when i get is it uh, an, an insecurity no i just when i look in the mirror and i see this i think old manish <laughs> and i don't want to be an okay. old man next question thank you what made you decide to do omad um for 30 years of my life i've been struggling with weight up and down up and down today on my show i said i've um I've tried to diet 500 times and i've failed 499 times so one time basically i just I just, there's the only thing that's ever worked for me, OMAD, was a, oh, one meal a day. And is, an, is OMAD part of diabetes? Like, is that Yeah, I had diabetes. Issue? See, I used to prick my finger every day, see if there's a little discoloration. Um, and it took care of diabetes, took care of all my diseases, everything. And it's, it's a miracle. And all of you should do it. Thank yeah, his you. link is in the description. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe. Um. If you could only eat one meal a day for the rest of your life, I and mean, how to be the same meal, what would it be and it's, why? It's basically, I've been on OMAD, this, today's 168, because uh, I write down everything, and um, I pretty much about 80% of the time had a little bit of salad, a little bit of um, skinless, boneless, breastless chicken, and a little bit of carbs, a little bit of rice or beans. And, so uh, is that mainly your meal you just eat for the rest of your life? Uh, isn't that what I ate tonight? Yeah. But like, right. what is one, like one, if that's you had what I would eat, like eat. one little thing, like that's fine. chicken or like pizza, what would it be? Food is fuel to me and uh, I don't care if that's what I ate for the rest of my life. Okay. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I don't care if you put that in a blender and I drank it. Okay. Um, what do you personally think of my YouTube channel? I think it's very therapeutic for you to be honest. <laughs> and, uh, also, um, I, I just think it's a great little project for you to have something that you do it's kind of a purpose and today you're saying i gotta get my video going i gotta get and usually kids are like you know they're looking down on their phone but you've got like a drive and a passion and i, I, I feel really... like it's thera like a therapy for a lot of teenagers and yeah stuff. Like i think everybody should have one yeah yeah i think it's great or young adults either way do you think i'll become successful like you are right now like with the 500 subscribers you have in a few months oh well, thank you but you know everybody's definition of success is different some people has a have a million subscribers and they look at ryan's toy review and he's got 23 million so they feel like i gotta get a couple more million 500 to me is i just feel successful because i'm doing what i want to do and uh, that's my definition of success exactly. if yours is getting 500 then i think I my, think my goal awesome. really is 100 because i never really thought i'd get oh, up to 60 great. at all yeah, like i didn't think goal. i'd get up to 60 yeah um i have a couple more questions have you ever lied about your weight and why um if you have oh, gosh that's a great question i'm almost stumped the omad man doesn't really get stumped um i'm trying to give you the most honest answer i'm so i'm all about honesty i 
Are you not? I really don't you know. I, I mean, you mean on my show or to my brother or anybody? Like you it could be your show, anybody in person. It could be literally. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I really don't know the answer to that. Okay. Um, what do you think of people who refuse to do OMAD and choose to start themselves? Well, you you gotta work, you gotta do something that you can do consistent. I've tried to starve myself, but after a while, I had to eat something. You can't starve yourself consistently. So, um, I think that sooner or later, if they learn about OMAD, I think they'll do it. So. I just realized we're twins. <laughs> Sorry. How long are your videos usually? Because we're it's five and a half it minutes. It doesn't matter. Okay. Anyway, um, like four or five more questions. Who are your role models growing up? Um, Freddie Mercury of Queen. Um, I thought my uncle was great. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Michael Jackson. I liked him for a while. In fact, I used to kind of talk higher like this. I go, hey, what's going on? I need to see you. I did that because that's the way he talks. Okay. Oh, I'm embarrassing. Um, okay, go ahead. What is it like living in Nebraska since you had so much success back in California? It <laughs> well, I kind of, because of the earthquake in 1994 and the freeways fell and all that kind of stuff, um, I was in a movie with Jeff Bridges playing the piano. I was playing seven days a week. Uh, I was doing a lot of great stuff, but to answer your question, kind of tooting my own horn. If you guys are like really con confused why I say success in California, because it used to be in movies. Um, and I played he, for the studios and, and, he, and the theme And he was in a and, band also. Right? Yeah, yeah, and I... Um, I did a lot of neat things, and uh, I moved here because of an earthquake, and earthquake. earthquake, and living out here, I just mostly taught piano for a while. But my family was out here, my children and stuff. So, uh, but now since I've got this uh, OMAD YouTube channel, I feel like I'm surpassing the uh, stuff of California, and pretty soon California is going to be calling me. But New York's going to be calling me for my musical soon. Or can I get an amen? <laughs> Starting to get the feeling. Okay. I'm gonna take over. Let me start interviewing you. So, how do you feel? Okay, sorry. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Beverly Hills for sure, and I will be living there soon. And, why and is so that? my brother would be calling up and going, "Hey, can I come over?" And I'll be going, "Dude, I'll give you a key." Why there? Um, because California is my home, man. Okay. California where, knows that. Where do you see yourself a year Woo! from now? Where do I see myself? Um, in a year from now happy just like now doesn't really care where i am because wherever you go you have to take yourself with you right That's a... maybe malibu you know over the wall malibu day <laughs> <laughs> okay uh I'm last question out. okay um do you think life would be different if we have never met each other you and me yeah yeah or if i never existed what do you think life would be like if i never existed well i probably wouldn't be married um, in my present situation, you, <laughs> there's like a serious question. Oh my God. Who could ask me that? What was the question? I already forgot it. Um, I forgot. Oh, yeah, uh, you forgot you um, what would, um, uh, my life would be, um, what do you uh, think life would be like if I never existed? And what would it be like if we well, never Well, if you never existed, you probably wouldn't be here or maybe you would have <laughs> I, I, Do you think you'd was be the who question? you are today? Um, no. Um, all right, that's it for today's video. Ch oh. Check out my dad, the Omad Man's <laughs> channel. Look, he's bald. I know. It's that's why I'm sitting like this. Is only half of me showing. All right, yeah, but go check out uh, his channel down below. He motivates uh, weight loss, and he's really good and inspirational. Uh, and and check I play out the my piano on my show. Yes, he does. He's very intelligent sometimes. Um. Check out my friend Whitney's channel. It'll be down in the description also. But if you guys uh, have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down in the comments. If you don't, forget it, y'all. <laughs> right. Um, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, forget y'all. <laughs> All right, okay. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Right.